So, as Steve, as mm -hmm. I know that you guys started on focusing on Nigeria specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you expand the that? So, what does that look like? Mm -hmm. And then we are doing this expansion like slowly. Like the expansion is in tiers, and most things in businesses are. So we're identifying the countries that are key places to be. I'm um, just even looking at the conference now. Um, we've seen that a country in Africa is really serious and really the key players in Ethiopia, and that's actually been very surprising. And it's kind of it, we've had to like sit down and say, okay, how can we include this country into our plan of expansion? Because they look like they're very serious about even just their stand, their panel, they attended their panels. Um, we talked to someone from the embassy, and they were very like, intentional about getting the right kind of intelligence to ensure that they can attract them. In terms of intelligence and data, um, so you say what's mainly macro. Um, and um, presumably you're sorting that from government agencies and you generate any of your own like using like AI and once you build the background data how does that work? I'm so glad you asked that because yeah. like you know things like this it takes a while um, it's been an evolution so we started out just writing insights to help people understand the complicated things that are happening over the years, we're like almost five years now, and it's built a bank of rich insights and data just explained just, you know, what is that now? Oh, we're now going into like data, data for, because at this point, business is only really the thing that's coming down. Um, so we have tools that actually use machine learning and machine learning. So we have a market opportunity marketing tool that combines a different like model with machine learning. And it helps people know the size of the market that they share. Why this is what we do? When you come into Africa, you always feel like there's the someone from outside thinking, oh, I think this would be great, but not having the contextual knowledge that this would actually work. Um, I can't really remember an example, but there have been many businesses that have like this, like, you know, it's an idealistic idea that, oh, I think the service people would need it. And they get there and they realize the reality is different. Or like, um, based on what um, the economy is saying or what the consumer market is, people don't have that maybe like um, disposable income to attend to what you're like, providing. So this kind of like tool combined with like AI yeah, and everything helps it be more precise when you know, okay, this is exactly what I'm going into. Um, am I receiving my money? As an investor, you're also like um, investing in this business because you're going to be working well. Um, there are other things that we've um, created, like um, the inflation forecast. Um, this, we, the first inflation of this had Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya, and just predicting how inflation is going to be. Right. So, um, and also we have insights because since I'm sorry, so you know, we're not just giving the data, we're giving it based on the data context. And we're also there with the program so we see how prices or socioeconomic situations are affecting this data and we're providing it to people. So it's not just like you're saying, Oh, the numbers are this, 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 it's this, this because of this. Um and then um this is also influencing this. Um so that's one of the biggest like standout things we see. It's just like we're not just like data providers, we're providing the local context as well and they don't want to take a picture out there.